We have quite a bit to cover here, so let's just jump right in. State of Decay 2 Homecoming Following the events of State of Decay 2 Heartland, players will be returning to Trumbull Valley with Homecoming on September 1st. This is essentially a free update for current game owners and features the map from the first game remastered and altered in numerous ways. Series fans will find various references and lore in the map. Furthermore, certain items can only be found in Trumbull Valley and nowhere else, which includes 12 new hats and outfits. There are also 6 new bases and a new bounty pack, which provides some powerful new weapons. Death Stranding Director's Cut New Features Closing out Gamescom Opening Night Live was a preview trailer for Death Stranding's Director's Cut, which showcased many of the new features coming in the enhanced version. These include new tools like the Evolved Stabilizers, which reduce the impact of landing when jumping from higher areas, the Cargo Catapult, which launches cargo over large distances and can open a parachute to safely drop it somewhere, and the Buddy Bot for carrying Sam around. The firing range was also showcased in depth and features drills for testing weapons and ranked drills to compete against other players for the highest score. A new weapon, the Mazer Gun, was also showcased and it's capable of stunning enemies. Boss battles can also be revisited from the comfort of one's private room and battled as many times as you wish. The music player has also been updated with eight new tracks. As for new missions, Sam will venture to a, quote, mysterious facility which is swarming with mules. Players can either sneak through or gun foes down en route to unearthing any secrets within. Of course, if you're keen on racing, then the racetrack has you covered with various courses and time attack to compete against other players. You can also set up jump ramps in the world to leap over crevices and perform tricks. And if all of that wasn't enough, a strange new area and massive monster were teased at the end. Sifu Release Date Slow Clap's upcoming Kung Fu action title Sifu has been on many people's radar since the moment it was announced earlier this year, and it helps of course that the game has continued to look solid in all that we've seen of it since then. Slow Clap promised an important update for the game at Gamescom Opening Night Live, and as promised, announced a release date for it. The game's newest trailer also shows off new gameplay, with punchy combat in various environments being shown. As you'd expect, it continues to look quite promising. Thankfully, now we also know exactly how long we're going to have to wait until it launches. When Sifu launches, it'll be available for PS5, PS4, and PC. There's no word yet on when or if the game will also arrive for Xbox sometime down the line. Horizon Forbidden West officially delayed. Guerrilla Games director Matthias De Jong appeared on Gamescom opening night live to provide an update on Horizon Forbidden West. Development is currently in the final stage, but due to prioritizing the health of its team during the pandemic, the release has been officially delayed to next year. Fortunately, De Jong provided a firm release date, February 18th, 2022. Pre-orders for the title on PS4 and PS5 will begin on September 2nd. Synced Off-Planet Re-Reveal Next Studio's upcoming shooter, Synced Off-Planet, showcased a new re-reveal trailer during Gamescom Opening Night Live, and showcases a futuristic dystopia filled with machines and robots posing a threat to humanity. Synced Off-Planet is a co-op shooter where players assume the role of the remaining survivors of the species and must cooperate to fend off these robots in order to get to a safe haven. Furthermore, players can utilize some special abilities which summon companions that can help defeat waves of enemies. Stray Blade Developer Point Blank and publisher 505 Games have revealed a new trailer for their upcoming action-adventure title, Stray Blade. The game is set in the mystical region of Acrea, The Lost Valley, and releases exclusively for Xbox Series X and S sometime in 2022. Stray Blade's combat draws heavy influence from the Souls series, and the trailer showcases some brutal combat that requires management of the stamina meter and a firm understanding of the enemy's attack patterns. Its art style is pretty bright, and the environments pop out with color. There's also equal parts focus on exploration, which will net players better gear and weapons as they battle continually tougher foes. There's also a furry companion who seems to be in charge of trading or upgrading weapons and gear. Jurassic World Evolution 2 Release Date Announced a couple of months ago, Jurassic World Evolution 2 has looked more and more like a promising sequel of a great game with all of the details that Frontier Developments have shared for it so far since then. At Gamescom Opening Night Live, they also premiered a new trailer and confirmed exactly when the game will be coming. 
Jurassic World Evolution 2 promises various improvements over the first game, including more modes, more biomes, improved dinosaur behaviors and interactions, bigger maps, various gameplay improvements and changes, and much more. You can, of course, expect to see an impressive variety of dinosaurs in the game, many of which are shown off in the trailer. And when exactly is it coming? Well, it's not too far away, thankfully, and players will be able to jump in pretty soon. Jurassic World Evolution 2 is launching on November 9th for PS5, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Halo Infinite Release Date 343 Industries' Halo Infinite finally made an appearance during Gamescom Opening Night Live, with a number of interesting details about the game's multiplayer. A new trailer showcases the introduction of the game's first multiplayer season, titled Heroes of Reach. The video showcases a debriefing session with Commander Agrinia, who is the leader of a new generation of Spartans. As speculated before, the trailer also showcases tidbits of the Covenant forces invading a city. Master Chief also makes a brief appearance during the trailer, saving Agrinia from the attack. As previous rumors suggested, Halo Infinite will be released on December 8, 2021, with the campaign and the first season of the game's multiplayer component included in the launch version. Campaign co-op and Forge mode will be released in the future, with no exact dates being mentioned as of yet. Marvel's Midnight Suns For the last couple of months, we've been hearing reports of a new XCOM-style turn-based tactics game in development based on Marvel characters. And that game, titled Marvel's Midnight Suns, has been officially confirmed by publisher 2K Games at Gamescom Opening Night Live. A CG announcement trailer shows various familiar Marvel characters, such as Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Blade, Ghost Rider, and more. Contrary to what a recent leak suggested, Marvel's Midnight Suns will allow you to play as various characters from across the Marvel Universe. Meanwhile, players will also be able to create their own custom superhero. We'll be getting our first look at gameplay in December, so stay tuned for that. Marvel's Midnight Suns will launch in March 2022 for PS5, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Saints Row Reboot Volition has been teasing the next Saints Row game for the last few days, and at Gamescom Opening Night Live, they officially unveiled it. As the teases have strongly suggested, it is indeed a full reboot set in a completely new continuity and is titled simply Saints Row. It features a much more grounded back-to-the-basic story and tone in a modern contemporary setting. Four main characters are at the heart of the story, one of whom is the protagonist, aka the boss, with the other three each belonging to one of three different powerful factions in control of the city. Tired of being suppressed and told what to do, the four come together to form a new gang, the Saints, with eyes on the whole city. The full game will also be playable co-op, which is being touted as untethered and seamless. Wingsuiting around the city will also be possible, adding to the traversal options, while players can also expect various different kinds of firearms and vehicles. Meanwhile, Volition is promising more customizations than ever before in the series for your protagonist, your vehicle, and your whole crew. Tales of Luminaria Bandai Namco is celebrating the Tales of series 25th anniversary in style, clearly. Not only is the series seeing its most significant step forward with the anticipated Tales of Arise launch in September, it's expanding into other new spaces as well. At Gamescom Opening Night Live, for instance, Bandai Namco announced Tales of Luminaria, a brand new game in the series currently in the works for iOS and Android devices. The trailer shows a few brief snippets of the game in action, with some combat and a rather familiar visual aesthetic being shown off. Very few other details on the game are known right now, so no, we don't know what its monetization model is going to be yet, but it's definitely interesting to see the series branch out and trying its hand in the mobile space instead. LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga was announced over two years ago at this point, and with delays and more delays and long periods of complete silence from the game's developers, many have wondered what exactly is going on with it. As promised, though, at Gamescom Opening Night Live, we finally got another long overdue look at the game. Plenty of new gameplay footage is shown, showcasing scenes and locations from across the nine movies the game will be covering, and a variety of different playable characters, including the likes of Han Solo, Rey, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Chewbacca, Lando Calrissian, and more. The game apparently boasts over 300 playable characters, so clearly players will have plenty to choose from. Meanwhile, a new launch window has also been confirmed for the game. 
LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga launches in Spring 2022 for PS5, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Dying Light 2 Techland kicked off the Xbox Gamescom Showcase, showcasing some new gameplay for Dying Light 2 Stay Human. It sees protagonist Aiden Caldwell talking about the state of the world and whether hope is truly dead. More importantly, the video provides a closer look at the various parkour moves and combat abilities that come into play. One of these is the new Vault Kick. This allows for staggering an enemy and rebounding off of them to unleash attacks on others. You can also wall run and leap off nearby structures to attack, use metal knuckles, throw knives, and even unleash two-handed slams. Battles against humans are more frequent, and they'll be a lot more important than the first game. Though it wasn't showcased, Techland also confirmed that the paraglider can be used in combat. Dying Light 2 Stay Human is out on December 7th for Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PS4, PS5, and PC. Xbox Cloud Gaming Microsoft's push into cloud gaming has been fairly strong over the past year or so, starting with xCloud and adding compatibility for existing titles on Xbox. For some time now, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscribers have been able to experience cloud gaming on mobiles and PC. This holiday season, it'll be possible to experience over 100 games via the cloud on Xbox Series X and S and Xbox One. Yes, that means that you can try out Gen 9 games on the Xbox One, experiencing high fidelity visuals at 1080p 60fps even on the limited hardware. For current gen players, it means not having to wait for downloads and jumping straight into a game. This also is useful if you want to play with friends in a game that's not installed on your hard disk. Of course, only games that support cloud gaming will be available and one can expect certain game features to vary by console. Performance will also be dependent on one's internet connection, so there may be the occasional wait time while playing. Forza Horizon 5 New Gameplay Closing out the Xbox Gamescom Showcase was Playground Games' Forza Horizon 5, with the development team unveiling the new cover cars. These are the Mercedes-AMG 1 and the 2021 Ford Bronco Badlands. But that's not all, as the first eight minutes of the title, which features cars being dropped from the skies, were also showcased. It starts out on the Grand Caldero Volcano, which is covered in snow as the players make a death-defying jump into the neighboring area. This transitions to the farmlands, where the player drives into a dust storm which obscures your vision with frightening realism. You then drop down into the jungle with an off-road Porsche before capping things off with a Mercedes-AMG 1. So what are your thoughts on this? Go ahead and share them in the comments below. And if you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon to get new video updates. We upload every day and would really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.